Okay, uh, good afternoon, everyone. Nice to have you join. I hope you can hear me. I will uh, allow that from the group now so that I can get your comments while the session is going on. So as I said already on the group just now, uh, when you join, please ensure that your mic is moot, is on moot. If you have to say something, uh, drop it on the chat first and allow me time to reply to you before you say it. Okay, so I'm going to allow you to be able to send message to the group after every 30 seconds now. Okay. Okay. So, so one is, can you all see my screen? Yes, we can. Uh, okay. At least on my end, I can. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So uh, let's get to the business of the day. Now uh, I will be putting the link. The website will be working on. I will be putting it on the chat now so that in case you want to also visit it and follow up so you can get to do that. So this website is studyinfo.fi and the website is unique and in the sense that it is through this website that you get to apply to the different programs and different schools in Finland. So your application is made easy because you don't have to apply separately to the schools. You don't have to go to school A and apply to school A, go to school B or school C to make a different application. From this website, you can choose the different schools, choose the different program and send just one application. And with just that one application, you can apply to six schools, six different programs, six different scholarship, all at the same time. So it's a very beautiful system designed to make it very easy for me during my time and now for you to be able to apply to study in Finland. So uh, most times when I give people this link, they find it difficult to navigate. So that is why we are having this session now so that you can get to see how it works. So now I will, this is my study, uh, my Google Chrome. Now I'll put the link here and enter. Now this is the home page of the link. One of the first thing you need to take note of is this part where you see the globe. Now, if you click on this arrow, Sometimes if you open the link on your own website, uh, on your own browser, I mean, it might come in this suomexi. Suomexi means finish. So when it's like this, you won't be able to read any of this. You won't be able to understand any of this because it will be in Finnish. So clicking here means you now have to change it to English. So for me, automatically it's done. Anytime I use the website, so automatically, so, but some of you might experience it in Finnish. So if it opens for you in Finnish, you only have to come and change it to English. And here you see pa Svenska. This is Swedish. Okay. So. Yeah. Please, now, could you, could you see the website? We could barely see. 
the screen is too small. Could you make it bigger? Okay. Uh, it's bigger for me already. Probably you are using... Is it clearer now? No. Or right? Just say it. Say it. Say it instead of... We, we, some of us cannot see this. We just say the website. Okay, the website has been sent to the group chat. Now I just pinned the website to the group chat. Okay. So now uh, that we are done with the language aspect of it, if you look at the left tab, there are a lot of options there that you can that will allow you to get to know all what the website has to offer. Now, from the front page, you can see, find your study path. Here you get to read about the Finnish education system as a whole, and how the education system is designed is a little bit different from what we have in Nigeria, but here, you can see the early education, pre-primary education, basic education. I think in our own system, we have it as KG, KG1, KG2, nursery, primary. So here is designed in a very different way. So you can read about that on your own. That's not, it's important, but not really the topic that we're here to discuss today. So they have the upper secondary school, which is like the senior secondary school that we also have in Nigeria. Okay. Now there is also the higher education. And this is the part I believe you are very interested in. Is there anyone using a computer to connect to this call? Anyone? Yes, I'm about to. Okay, can you see the screen very well? I'm about to connect. Okay, so I just want to know if you can see the screen because some people are saying they can't see it. Of course, if you are using a phone. Yes, if you are using a phone, it's tiny. Yeah, so but on your computer, you can see it very well, right? Let me connect, then I'll let you know. One thing is, even though if you are using a phone, good afternoon, everybody. If you zoom in, you will be able to get the link on the address bar. So you can get a pen and a paper. Zoom in, uh, right on you. the shot. You can't get the link from the address bar because it's, it's very different. What is on the address bar is different from the actual link you need to uh, input. Yeah, I can see it's clear. Someone's mic is making a noise. Okay. So, uh, if you can't see it, the recording of this uh session will be posted on the telegram chats even on twitter and probably also on youtube so you can go back to it and watch it on your system you'll be able to see it clearly on phone it will be very difficult i know okay so let's continue uh i forgot i'm supposed to tell you that we only have 30 minutes for this session so Already we've used nine minutes, so remaining like 21 minutes for us to get to the end of this. Okay, so now uh, we've talked about the Finnish education system and also the upper education system and the upper secondary education. Now we've gotten to the higher education part, which is the one I know you have much interested in for your bachelor's degree, for your master's degree, and also PhD. 
Now, when you come here, higher education, from there you still get to read about how the higher education system is designed. So if you find the information interesting, good. But from this portal, you can get the link that also takes you to the list of degree programs offered by universities of now someone okay please remember to put your phone or your device on mute most time it's stressful for me to have to come back to look for the person and mute manually so please Okay, now it's actually distracting if I have to be doing this all the time. So just try to ensure that you are moot so that we don't let the video go longer and also disturb other people. And remember that we're also on time. Okay. So I'm also checking the chat to see if there are any questions. So if you have to say anything, you can just drop it on the chat. I will go through it and probably answer it at the end of the session when the recording is over. I won't want the recording to go too long in case of those who want to rewatch it after now. Okay. Now, uh, coming, I need to check if I can. Okay, okay. No, that's not possible. So from the higher education portal, you can get a link that takes you to the list of degree programs offered by universities of applied sci sciences. So there are two different university type. So there is the normal university and there is the university of applied science is like a system the Nigeria tried to copy by having the normal university and also having polytechnics. So the polytechnics are designed to train people for craft, train people to be professionals. So the same thing here also, the University of Applied Science is designed to train people for professional work. And that's why most of the nursing programs are, uh, you will find, that they have been offered by the University of Applied Science. So, but the university is a scientific community that offered research. Basically, they are all about research and researches here. Yeah. So, uh, but you can apply to any of the two depending on your interests, and depending on what's available, which of them is offering what fascinates you. So, now, when we come to the higher education degrees, I click on the link, you can see uh, from here it tells us the bachelor's degree program that are available. And there's the list of all bachelor's programs available. That's here is the combination of the bachelor's degree available at the university and the ones available at the University of Applied Sciences. And furthermore, they still divided it that you are able to check the list of bachelor's degree available at the universities of Applied Sciences. And you're also able to check separately now the list of bachelor's program available at the main universities. The same thing for master's degree. The master's degree at the University of Applied Sciences master's degree at the normal universities. And furthermore, you then see the list of doctoral programs also, and the list of programs in medicine. Okay, so I think someone was asking me about uh, medicine. So here you get to see the medicine program takes up to like eight, eight years to complete. Okay, so now let's come back to the top here. And the part I want us to go to is to check first the list of all 
bachelor's program available. Now I clicked on the link. Now you see that some of these are in a language that you still can't understand the area in Finnish. So what do you do? Scroll down and select that you want to study in English, language of instruction, English. Now when you click, uh, when you click on that, you will get to see that all the app, uh, programs that are available in English. And from here, you can see that there are some programs that are linked, linked in terms of both bachelor's and master's, like simultaneously. You, you have to do a bachelor's program in three years, then a master's program in two years. So they are combined together. So for example, this program, uh, Administrative Sciences, Sustainable Urban Development, is a is both bachelor and master of administrative sciences. Now you see three plus two years, three years for the bachelors, two years for the uh, masters. And also here they put it, the uh, 180 credit units. Okay, I mistakenly clicked that. 180 credit units, and that's for the bachelors. 120 credit units, that's for the masters. And the university offering the program is also listed here. So from here, what you can do is to search. You can check one after the other for the programs that you want or that the one that fascinates you. But there is an easy way to go about that. But while we are here, basically now is to choose the language of instruction, which is English. And here we have up to like 113 programs that are offered in English. And here you can see the results that has been shown per page. You can increase it to 30, you can increase it to 50. And the result is showing uh, most relevant education institutions that are offering these programs in English, 31, and so on like that. Okay, so now I go back. Remember, this is for bachelors. And this is just University of Applied Science Bachelors. Now we can also still filter it and say, okay, now we don't want a bachelor's plus master's program. We only want a, master, uh, a bachelor's program. So now you filter this out. Now it will show us just the basic bachelor's program that take three years or three and a half years both from the University of Applied Sciences, this U.S., and also from the normal university. You can see it here, the main university, and the language of instruction is English. And when you come here, we have 75 study programs, bachelor's programs, and then offered by 24 institutions. So you can scroll down and check. Bachelor of Business Administration, if you're interested in business admin. Uh, bachelor in Business Information Technology, if this was fascinates you. Uh, there's also Bachelor of Business Administration that is specialized in artificial intelligence. There's Business Information Technology, we've seen this before, entrepreneurship and team leadership, and so on and so forth like that. Okay, so... Uh, this is for the bachelor's program. Now, from this same place, you can also filter to find out about the master's program. Now you can filter out the bachelor's program and just master's degree program only. And from here also you see master's degree program, accounting, accounting master of science, economics and business administration, two years. So you should not that the master's program are usually two years. The bachelor's are three years or three and a half years. So from here, you can you see all the master's program that are available. About 408 master's degree program are offered by 33 education institutions. Okay, so just the same thing with the bachelor's. And at the same time also, uh, one thing you should notice here is that when we check under the UAS, the University of Applied Sciences, 
the they don't offer doctoral program at the UAS. Only the universities offers doctoral program. So here you can also click on the doctoral degree, and then you see the programs that are available. So from here you can get to know which university uh, this is in uh, Doctor of Education. So you see University of Lapland, uh, Doctor of Finance, University of Arts, Helsinki, Doctor of Earth Sciences, University of Turku, and so on like that. Now, uh, another important thing that you also need to know is this part where it says application ongoing. Now, if you want to know if any of the schools is currently offering uh, admission into any of their school program, you can click on this application ongoing. And if you remember that we are still on the doctoral degree program here, so you can see this school. There are, there are ten institutions that are offering seventy-four doctoral program. That are, the application is currently ongoing. So if you're interested in the doctoral program, this is where you want to come to search and go through it to find out more about the program and if it suits your interest. Okay, so let's take this out. Let's take this out. Let's take this out. Okay, so now you may want to, let's check if there is any, I think some of the questions ask if they can apply now. The the, they have two application sessions. I think one is coming up this month or next month for those who will be coming in January. And then there's the main application period for those who will be coming next September. So the difference is that the January intake is not much. Just few universities offer admission for January intake. And because it's few universities, you really don't have much option in terms of study programs, in terms of scholarship av uh, availability, and uh, some other points in which uh, I think I've skipped my mind right now. So, but for the August intake, there are almost all the schools offers admission at that time. So you have a wide variety of choice of options in which you can pick from. So to me, I, I used to believe that that is the better choice, uh, the better option for this, Okay, now, uh, sorry, I will have to mute the chat because I will tell you it's distracting me. And that was why my third point skipped my mind. And so just give me a minute to skip. Let's pause the chat for now, okay? I will check it later. I don't want this video to be too long. Okay, just try to understand. Okay. So now, uh, just the same way you can see, University of Applied Sciences, bachelor's degree. Now, someone's mic is on again. Okay. Okay, so uh, there is also a very easy way that I think you can navigate this site, and that is by coming here. Oh no, not here. Well, we've checked two ways already, and each of those ways are actually good. So. Uh, now, I'll quickly tell you what I did during my own time. Now, another way you can filter, yes. You know, if you just say, oh, this study info, give me the link. I want to know the bachelor's program or master's degree program that are available in Finland. Now, it's showing you everything, 521. 
programs studied in uh, that are available in 35 educational institutions. Of course, you won't be interested in 531 programs. You only need some specific programs. So now you need to decide, are you going for bachelor's or master's? If bachelor's, then leave it at bachelor's here. Leave it at bachelor's here also at the university. Yes, English. Now you may not need to start picking the region in which you want to study. You may not be interested in that now. And uh, I think I should also mention to you that the regions, some of the schools are more expensive and less expensive. For example, if you if you want to study in Helsinki, then you're ready to pay a lot of money, a lot of money. But there are other schools that are up north. Like this school, Lapland, is like at the tail end of Finland and in one of the coldest regions in the world the coldest region in Finland. So, you know, anywhere that is cold, many people don't want to go there or live there. So what does that mean? It means this school, one of the advantages is that their school fee is cheaper compared to a lot of schools that are in Southwest Finland or in uh, South Karelia and so on like that. So you may not really need to, uh, to filter this, but when you begin to go through the schools, you will see the difference. So now, here is asking for your prior education. You may also not need to click on anything here. Now, application ongoing, if you wish, you can use this to filter. Now, uh, joint application. So this will be happening in January. Separate application is an application that is probably going on now. And then some schools offers rolling admission. This rolling admission, there are no scholarships for it in most cases, so you may not be interested in this. Now, transfer application. The reason why this might not work for us is that some of these schools, uh, it works for those schools whereby schools here have a kind of partnership with, for example, uh, Lutz University, my school, has a partnership with St. Petersburg University that is very close to us here in Russia. So like that, if someone in Russia is studying, has studied for two years, he can come to uh, my school year to complete his studies. So that's what this transfer application means. So it's a kind of application for schools, inter-schools, whereby there, there is partnership existing among them. Then the supplementary application, I really don't know about this one. Okay, so admission procedure, you mean be now. This is actually where I'm coming to field of study. So, here easily you can use it to filter your own area of interest. If you want to come for nursing program, come to health and welfare. If you want to come for business program, come here. Art and humanities, education, social science, journalism, and information, so that you won't need to be going through all these 521. Uh, study programs here. Okay, it has reduced. Probably I clicked on something. Okay, so you can filter here based on the field of study. So you can, if you're a business uh, administrator like me, you can come and say business administration and law. If you are into uh, sciences, physics, industrial chemistry, or so it is, you can come here and choose. Uh, engineering and engineering, manufacturing and construction, you can also filter through this page. Uh, so now to the last part of today's session. Now, once you've done all your filtering, now let's say I filter this, I need just business administration courses, uh, bachelor's courses. So now, you can come and check from here you see this program offered in this school you click and you get the description of the program now if you see 210 ects you have to divide it by 60 because you are expected to take 60 every year 60 ects credit every year so this program now will go for three and a half years so take note of that and you can come here and say show more 
where you get to read more about the program and uh, the application, some more details here. So now here is the interesting part. This program, Bachelor's of Business Administration, Entrepreneurship and Team Leadership offered by Tampere University. Now you can see daytime teaching, the tuition fee for non EUA and EEA. That's for us basically that are not coming from the EU. The tuition fee is 9,800. Expensive, right? Yes, this is expensive. So if you know that you may not be able to raise this kind of money, what will you do? You skip this, you go to another school. Uh, where do I pack this? Okay, let me, let me try and go back. Okay, yeah, now I'm back. Okay, uh -huh. so you go and check another school, you check another program that is related. Now, this is entrepreneurship and team leadership. You can come and check this. The same thing, just the same process. Now, this application is ongoing. You can see what I was saying about most of the applications that are available now, they are limited in terms of study programs, in terms of schools, not all the schools are offering admission right now, and in terms of scholarship also. So, but one thing that probably I need to check another school before I can decide, because most of the time you will also see the scholarship information here. But we've checked two different schools already and the scholarship information is not there. So probably uh, it's not there because it's not the main application is not open now. Okay, so almost all these programs, the scholarship information is not here. Let me see. Aha. Uh -huh. See, yeah. Okay, probably I didn't click on the other one then. Uh -huh. Now you can see this. This school is telling you, what is this, the double degree program? Okay, Lepranta. Okay, you can see what I say about transfer application, the other student of what? Partner universities. So this school now is telling you that there is no scholarship. So you will have to think if you can afford 8,000 euros. If yes, you apply. If no, you skip and go to another school. Like that's just the basic idea that uh, I use then when searching for my, uh, when making my own application. Okay, so now I need to allow more. I think I filter with business here. So I need to allow here. Yeah, I need to. Okay, so that I can get to see more schools. Uh, so let's check, let's check this school, uh, this program, okay. Let's check here. Uh, Aha, uh -huh, good. Now, Hello. yeah? Hello? Uh, okay, so now, here is another study program, Bachelor of Culture, Arts, Smart and Sustainable Design. When you're here, you come for the basic information. Now you can see the study program, this goes for four years, 240 ECTS. As I told you earlier, you divide it by 60 because you are expected to do 60 ECTS in a year. So that will give you four years contact teaching. Now the tuition fee is 9,700. But when you come to the scholarship, yeah, what do you see? They are telling you that you can get a scholarship between 3,200 to 9,700. So this school is basically telling you that for this program, for this bachelor's program, you can get a full scholarship. That's what it means. You can get a reduction from 3,200 to 9,700. So which is interesting to me. If this is a program that fascinates you, then you might want to apply when the application is on. Now you see that they're only telling you that 
joint application and joint application is not on now. Joint application is usually in January. For this year, 2002, January 5 to January 19, the joint application takes about three weeks. So you need to start preparing and make sure when you also come by yourself navigating this site, ensure you read through everything on the site and also read this admission criteria it will guide you in preparing your documents and everything that your application will need okay so for example look at transfer application here they're only going to take two people so but that's just about that so let me go back do we do you get the concept now i will do one more example and that will be the end of it for today. Now, this is another bachelor's program, Bachelor of Engineering, Automation and Robotics. So what do you do? Click on this. Come to the basic information. Now, come down a little bit to the school. And there you can see uh, Bachelor of Engineering Automation offered by this school, JAMC. And the tuition fee is 8,000 euros. So now when you click on this, you see the scholarship information, okay? Now you can see this school is telling you that you can get 4,000 euros scholarship. So which means once you apply for this program and you get admission, you are, can also get up to 4,000 euros scholarship, which means you will only have to pay 4,000. Understood? Yes, I know you understand. You are smart. Okay, so I think that will be it for now. I will look into the, I will stop the recording now and look into the chat if I still have a little time to answer the questions there. And later we can discuss more about it, about this in other sessions. But for now, you can go through this process to make your own research about the schools, about the programs, about the scholarship available in each of the schools. So from here, you start making notes of which program fascinates you, which school is more interesting to you, which uh, school is affordable to you. So you can start making such notes now. And as I said earlier, ensure you go through the admission criteria and be and read admission criteria. For example, let me click on this. So from here, you will see. Okay, now this is a bachelor's program, and they even say, okay, you can apply to this bachelor's program with a bachelor's degree program also. So that's one of the questions I got. That can you apply with your with your Bachelors, I think for those people who use two sitting result. So probably if you use two sitting in your old level and you already have a bachelor's degree, but and you are considering taking another bachelor's degree in Finland. So now you can see this particular school says it allows you to apply with your bachelor's degree or even master's degree. I know a couple of people that are currently in my city here studying bachelor's degree but they already have a master's degree. So it doesn't really matter at the end of the day. So, but the good news now for those who are asking about HND is that, uh, no, not HND actually, those who are asking about two sitting, if you already have a bachelor's degree program, then you can use that to apply. Okay, so here you see the foreign degree program. This is basically your WAEC. You can use your WAEC here, it gives you the qualification. But at the same time, you can also use your BSc here. All right, so that will be all for today. Other questions asked will be addressed in the further sessions that will hold. So now I will stop the recording. Why do I even get stuck in? I think first I need to stop sharing. Mm -hmm. Stop recording. Okay. Stop sharing.